One year ago, real estate market experts provided home buyers and sellers with bad advice. Let's review that. First up is Zillow, September 29th, 2022. Expert panel expects buyer's market by 2023. Barron's, September 2nd, 2022. Home prices could drop in 2023. These places are most at risk. Wall Street Journal, September 23rd, 2022. Your city's housing boom could go bust. Redfin, September 21st, 2022. Seattle's housing market is cooling faster than any other in the U.S. This reminds me of a quote I love from Mark Twain. The reports of my death are greatly exaggerated. So would be true with the real estate market. Hi, I'm Tony Meyer with Windermere Real Estate. For 34 years, I've been an avid study of the real estate market, helping my clients make educated buying and selling decisions. We're going to help you do the same today by reading past the headlines and looking at the real numbers. First up, we're going to talk about the national real estate market. Is Zillow right? Are we actually in a buyer's market? Well, let's define what a buyer's market is. First of all, anything under two months is a seller favored market. Two to four months is a balance market. And in our area, we call four months or greater buyer's market. I know nationally, a lot of times that's determined to be more than six months of inventory. So we're gonna use the tighter of that and call four months or more a buyer's market. If you look at the national numbers, given the most recent information I was able to attain today, we are sitting at 3.3 months of inventory nationally. That is a balanced market, by no means, no account, a buyer's market. Why is that? Well, single family housing units have been underbuilt for the last 14 years. While we have low numbers of inventory currently, we've really been at historic lows given the migration patterns to the US and meeting demand of housing. Lastly is our foreclosure filings. A lot of times people are afraid foreclosures are coming. They're really sitting at near all time lows. Months of inventory. We're gonna talk specifically about the east side, Seattle and Snohomish County, the markets I serve, and how do we stack up compared to a buyer's market on Zillow's prediction. Well, east side sitting at 1.6 months of inventory, not a buyer's market, still a seller favored market. Seattle sitting at 1.9 months of inventory, still favoring a seller. And lastly, Snohomish County, the tightest of the three sitting at 1.3 months of inventory, definitely favoring a seller. Next, we're gonna talk about the true cost of waiting. We're gonna look at Eastside, Seattle, and Snohomish County. If you took the advice a year ago, what did it actually cost you in waiting? The true cost of waiting on the east side. Last year, you could have bought home for a million three fifty. It is now a million four twenty seven five hundred. A difference of seventy seven thousand five hundred. Your interest rate would have been six point one one. It's now seven point two. The average for September. That is a difference in payment of fifteen hundred dollars a month or eighteen thousand dollars a year. So if you waited, took Zillow's advice, it's going to be a buyer's market. You lost seventy seven thousand dollars in appreciation and eighteen thousand dollars a year in your monthly payment. Seattle. You could have bought a home for $900,000. This year, it is $926,250. Your interest rate is up 1.09%, and your monthly payment is up $828 a month, plus you lost out in over $26,000 in appreciation. Snohomish County, you could have bought a home for $735. It's now $749,900, a difference of $14,900. Your payment for that same property is now $631 more per month or $7,577 more per year. So any way you look at this, it is cost you to wait in this marketplace. We're gonna take a look at one other number, the east side, true cost of waiting since the peak of 2022. A lot of people think, well, I made the right decision. I didn't buy at the peak of the market in 2022. And in some ways that's probably true, but let's take a look at all the numbers and make a real determination. So in April of 2022, the very peak of the east side market, the median price was $1,722,000. That same home today is $1,427,400, a difference of $294,600. So yeah, that's real money. That house has gone down. But let's take a look at the payment. Uh, interest rates play a huge role in the average cost. And if you weren't thinking about selling that house immediately, 
This is what you have to live with on a monthly basis. Currently, it'd be $464 more per month or an additional $5,568 to own that same house this year as it would have been if you bought it at the peak in April of 2022. When will national prices come down? Gosh, everybody's asking that. The real estate market is such an interesting thing. After 34 years, I've really never seen, excluding 2008, any real downward trend of our market. And 2008 was caused by a lending crisis, which does not exist today. So let's take a look at the national numbers. You can see both Zillow, Black Knight, and Freddie Mac have all shown month over month increases up through July. The latest information I could get on that uh, for the bulk of this year. Price changes over the last five years. Well, I live in Washington State. Pleased to see on average, Washington State real estate has gone up 57% in the last five years. National average is also 57.3%. How about since 1991? Well, I've actually been a homeowner since that period of time, owning both in California and in Washington State. You can see Washington State went up 451% since 1991. National average is 297%. So if you think owning a home for the long term isn't a smart investment, these numbers would disagree. What is predicted to happen next? Well, as we started off this video, we talked about how predictions don't always work out, but I'm going to share with you the Home Price Expectation Survey. It's a nationwide panel of over 100 economists, real estate experts, investment, and market strategists. They're thinking about the real estate market going forward as we're going to see appreciation for the next several years. Again, fortifying the desire, the information, why you should own a property at this stage. What do I think will happen? Well, predicting the future is a fool's game, but what I can do is share with you some potential scenarios and I think the things that will impact those scenarios. So first scenario, what if rates go up further? Well, my feeling is there is no reason inventory will dramatically rise, and I'll show you why now. Americans are sitting on a tremendous amount of equity. 68.7% have paid off their mortgage or have at least 50% equity. If you look at what caused the 2008 crisis, there was a, a lot of people with no equity in their home, and as prices started to go down, they were upside down and just decided to walk away. So that is definitely not the case today. Also. 70.7% .7 of mortgage rates are less than 4%. So these outstanding mortgage holders are not sitting in a high mortgage rate. They don't have a pressure to move, which is going to keep inventory low going forward. If you're expecting the market to change, this dynamic plays against it dramatically because for a market to change, you've got to have an abundance of inventory and not enough buyers. There is no signs that that's going to happen at this point. If rates go down, home prices could skyrocket up. I'll show you why. If you recall the slide I shared with you earlier, showing how it is more expensive today to buy a home than it was in the peak of April of 2022, you can see that buyers are already very comfortable with a mortgage payment in excess of $9,000. If we have a 1% drop in rates, a massive price increase could occur. Let me show you why. At 6.2%, a $9,690 payment, which is what happened in September, equals a loan amount of $1,582,000. That would equate to a 10% increase, and that's an instant increase in buyer's buying power. And this is what we saw happen in the pandemic when rates dropped down dramatically uh, as the feds tried to keep us out of a recession we saw prices jump up and I could see that happening all over again with this information here. Sellers, now is the time to prepare your home. We are in the fall at this stage and lots of clients are contacting us, getting their houses ready for the market. If the market changes in your favor dramatically, the last thing you wanna do is have the market change and you not be ready to do so, to step into that marketplace. So. It's time to reach out to us. It's time to schedule a meeting so we can get your to-do list squared up so you can maximize your return in the marketplace. What are the reasons you want to move? Well, here's the top five reasons that people want to move. Number one is moving closer to family or friends, moving due to retirement, neighborhood became less desirable, home is too small, 
change in family situation, marriage or divorce. Let us help you prepare your home for maximum return on investment. Again, schedule a time with us. We'll set up a walkthrough, help you understand exactly what you need to do to get the very best your home has in the marketplace ahead. So we've talked a lot about what's happening in our marketplace here, but I'm sure you've got questions. First of all, you can leave us a comment down below. You can always call, text my phone number at 425-466-1000. I take understanding the market seriously. I want my clients to know what's really happening, what the true realities are of the market, looking past the headlines. Hopefully you've liked what we had to say. Uh, if you do us the favor and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, this helps YouTube get this information out to others who might be thinking the same as you. Well, that's it for now. Have a great day. Take care.